Can you talk to me about your annual conferences and what happened in Derby a few years ago? Well, one of the tasks that I feel very strongly about is this, <laughs> that I feel to do, I need to do a lot to, make, to give uh, an informed, to create an informed opinion about China in Britain, not only in Britain, but in Ireland and in the United States. The, the, all the places are full of prejudices arising from the communist history. And there's a lot of misinformation. So we use every opportunity we have to try to create um, an image of China that's true to the reality of China. And uh, in, for that, then, the main, the main vehicles we use are annual general meetings, where we have speakers talking about various aspects of China's economy, its history, its politics, its culture and its fates and uh, we had a major conference a couple of years ago which we did in collaboration with the national justice and peace organization they have an annual conference every year which has about 300 people so this year we made china the total focus and the purpose again was to present to that group of people who are highly informed on matters of international justice and peace but who were very happy to hear and know more about the truth about china and how it works today and what its place in the world is and what they want to contribute to the world because many people see China as a threat one of the things that I'm hearing all the time in within China is they want peaceful development but if they buy one new gun for the Navy somewhere in the West they say they're arming to the teeth so that they can overthrow us the history of China has never been one of overthrowing other nations they had a much much more subtle way of doing that they invited the other nations to the court in china where they did uh, now tow to the emperor and in that way were incorporated into the chinese middle kingdom uh, they had a horrible time in relation to the to the to the western world in the in the 18th and 19th century and they're still very full of pain because of all that and they'll be very careful not to allow that to happen again but they certainly have no intention in my view to to protect them to uh, to uh, to uh, prevent others from from um, intruding on them in a military way they want their place in the world and i think it's up to the world to give them a place to shape the world with their history and their philosophy and their theologies which may make quite a different world than the one that has developed over the last number of hundreds of years.